Back to another episode of Final Fantasy 7. We're about to finish the trials of Red 13 and learn. Learn everything. So no weaknesses. Just watch. 
Uh-oh. I got a time limit now. I'm quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? Oh, oh, oh. I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. The Watcher of the Vale fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait, is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh, oh, oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to see her off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid. Because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps. But not anymore. Heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> like this. It's not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home, like he did. Listen to me, Mamaki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all, that no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki, before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. Hmm. 
You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto, protector of our veil. to me. My name is Guy Natak. Oh, brave and noble Seto. I beseech you once more. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. turn of events indeed we'll back you up for two thousand but... <laughs> no this one's free um that's eh, all good. Actually. Ugh. Can anyone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Cause some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared of my wits here. I don't know. This he dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. This is a big the home lake of Gi lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> <laughs> longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Just a magical boat ride through Mako. No big deal. Try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I want to move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? 
Anything that reaches the planet's ears, in due time, reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them. By lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. So there I am, on oh. the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. This is the end of Crisis Core. I'm feeling every single bullet. One minute, I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. So, how's Cloud holding up? Mako Poisoning's done a real number on him. Doubt he's in for a speedy recovery either. But hey, hope springs eternal. Right. <laughs> if he does recover, you can bet your ass he'll act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through no ten times that shit. Are we talking about there. the same cloud? No Come go. on. The, the guy's desperate Maybe to prove himself. Not like he needs to. Yeah. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. <sighs> hey, why don't you try picking up some work as a merc? A Zack of all trades. Why? Riots going on over one's not enough. Get a load of this. <laughs> okay, let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar, 
fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks will risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. All right, let's go. The folks top side. Hey, you ever wondered about your purpose in life? What you're doing here? Sure, from time to time. Or all the time. Would never have guessed. Didn't used to, but things changed. Went through a lot after I joined Shinra, like a lot. I bet. I ask, because ever since I woke up, I've been wondering about what to do with all this time I've been given. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a mark. Yeah? Because one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit Reactor 1. So... Uh, how long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal clock's busted. Yeah, mine too. What's that about anyway? <laughs> Good question. So, so he's what from... What gonna happen to our baby? I don't know. My time? You know, you and yours to something mm -hmm. special. But I think Only I prefer being person. number two or three. Suits me much better. Yeah. Why don't we all like go camping? the guy who only has to worry about the how? And doesn't have to decide on the what. A minor role? Exactly. I'm no hero. So how come I was the one who got saved? Because someone needs you. You and your can-do attitude. And who might that be? Uh, you were the guy with Aerith. Whoever brought right? you back, I guess? I and assuming there was us. someone, who could it have been? <laughs> That's a good question. Hell with it! Let's just do what we want. Start by robbing folks and stop it. It's up just up ahead. Keep your eyes peeled. Copy. There's a bike. Someone's here. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever join Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. And here I thought I might have been saved for a reason. Some higher purpose. <sighs> Sorry for wasting your time. It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's got to be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. <sighs> you know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. 
So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Anyway, I gotta run. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. See ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Hmm. Home. Don Gaga at home. I'm back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh. Said he'd visit too. Oh yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? No. Uh, sorry, forgot to ask. Aww. Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon? Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. me the wind that was you wasn't it hello in there Welcome to the village of the Gee. Okay. Okay, another weapon for a wreath. Just now, our flesh is gone. 
Yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome, forever denied the planet's embrace. <sighs> I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. <laughs> They're not bound to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Ah, another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. Did that even go up a little bit? It did. A little bit. Aerith is about to die. Shut 
much did that just go up? Quite a bit. Ultimate materia. Don't know about y'all, but I got a sinking feeling. Think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands? I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. Hi. <laughs> What do you think he wants us to do for him? Steeped in our one desire, purest of materia no more, with pain and spite made black. Steeped in our one desire, a black materia? Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. No one have a cess? You will be able to Deal survive with that. the right. chaos. Watch and learn. Those who did began a new life here. But to the planet, I'll no one else will help. Not in life, nor in death.
That was clear. Where the hell is my phoenix down? There they are. Okay, up and at him. Okay. Can you take over? Give him hell! Let's go! Yes! Yes! You're done. Yeah! So long. Hey! Shit! Be right there! Hey. Got a whole heap of land with your name on it! I'll live through first. See ya! Joke on it, asshole! How am I not fucking surprised? Fucking get Jude from fucking Petrify. There's no fucking way he revived the other one. This is fucking stupid now. I'm just, 
I still just can't get up. Are you fucking kidding me? God, that fight was annoying. Alright, what do you got? I need that. Magic power, spiritual harvest, and that. So is he done? Alright, so I don't need him anymore then. So I need to change Barrett for Kate Sith. And he's Bugo Kaboom. not born of the life stream can never join its flow one cannot return to that from which one did not arise and so our souls sought refuge here yet idleness brought no solace our days a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence and now our only wish is to be freed from this prison to be granted true release Well, I don't get an option to heal, so... From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. 
the Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <laughs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. It appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Guess we're back? Yeah. We need to get moving. Right! I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. It's good to see you again. Hello. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. Bugenhagen? <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Those undead suckers actually think we're gonna give them back their materia. They called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. Sam. No way in hell are we letting him have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? <gasps> no. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Oh, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my materia! So, Kitsu, I gotta ask, how do you know about the Cetra Temple anyway? Uh, well, like, uh, I wouldn't say I know about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They said any up here? Uh, Think so? But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh... What did become of that thing? Ah, yes, now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say. Though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Cetra temple? A temple, you say? 
If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Oh. A fast Blessings travel the system, you say? Upon you. Are you in need of guidance? I need to take a nap. That's what I need to do. Uh, wait, do I need to take a nap? Uh, I don't need to take a nap, actually. Have you heard about Cloud! Chadley, do you even you have anything? I encourage you to pit your skills against this summon- I really need this. Call this episode here. I hope y'all enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next episode.